so hello everyone uh, today we discuss about uh, the sigma bond pi bond differences nothing but the comparison between sigma bond and pi bonds we know that uh, sigma bond and pi bonds are both are covalent bonds okay these are comes under types of covalent bonds which are introduced in valency bond theory okay now we see the difference that but compare we compare the uh, sigma bond and pi bond okay so already we know the, the definitions okay first see here we are writing about the sigma bond and about pi bond okay so now the main difference is in their formation there is a main difference so how the formation of sigma bond takes place sigma bond takes place by which type of overlapping that is called end on end overlapping so end on end overlapping naturally it is also known as axial overlapping so then we have axial overlapping antha so that is for example uh, p orbital p orbital overlapping means uh, just touching okay so this is a uh, Called as PP overlapping. Okay, actually, the man did a nucleus draw just. That is called internuclear axis. Internuclear axis. And so, the axis ki same. Parallel ga the overlapping. It actually the part ne man tam. This called overlapping. That overlapping part is exactly present on the. axis of that atomic orbitals said so ss overlapping ss overlapping so spherical shape ga but here then there is no specific direction with also possible sp overlapping okay sp overlapping so e overlap aina part in that they actually dinte em untaru manaki electrons these electrons are exactly that overlapping is Uh, parallel to the this overlapping is parallel to this axis. Okay, so this side uh, this is called end on end overlapping. Means the sigma bond is formed by end on end overlapping. Whereas the pi bond, so pi bond is uh, formed by we know that by side wise overlapping. Okay, side wise overlapping. We know that. Uh, ila side wise overlap out ila is actually the manam so p or which or ila bend chest ko rastam but this is only convenient convenient ko sab it rastam actually the this is the perfect side wise overlapping okay so actually the what is the axis so the axis ila untadi so the axis itla untadi so overlapping direction idi okay so this comparison uh, so ikkada pp overlapping itla unde sigma lo end on end overlapping so both axes are similar e overlapping kuda e direction lo unde exactly present on the internuclear axis internuclear axis ki nothing but the axis ki exactly parallel ga overlapping undi so ikkada overlapping entadi ikkada ippudu chupinchu round part thick dot spot and overlapping What are their axes? So E V axis. And the overlapping set law only means that overlapping so are perpendicular to that over that internuclear axis. That internuclear axis ki ah uh, overlapping direction set law only exactly perpendicular to each other. Okay. Means uh, just main uh, main difference in that uh, their formation is difference. What is the difference? Uh, sigma bond is formed by end on end overlapping end on end this is called axial overlapping of atomic orbitals whereas pi bond is formed by the side wise overlapping of atomic orbitals so what is the, what we can write the second point the second point we can write is uh, the overlapping of atomic orbitals This overlapping, nothing but because of bonded. Then they want to make the bonded electrons. So that these bonded electrons, nothing but overlapping, is parallel to the axis or parallel to the internuclear axis. But here the in sideways overlapping, in sideways overlapping, low overlap. I use the law of sideways overlapping. 
సో వాటి యాక్సిస్ ఎట్లా ఉంది ఇలా వర్టికల్ ఈ ప్లేస్లో ఉంది ఓకే సో అంటే ద ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ద యాక్సిస్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ద డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద బాండ్ నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ సో స్ట్రైట్గా ఫామ్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి మోర్ ఓవర్లాప్ అయ్యే ఛాన్స్ ఉంటుంది ఓకే దర్ ఇస్ అ పాసిబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ పాసిబుల్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ సిగ్మా వన్ దాట్ ఫోర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్రీటెడ్ యాజ్ ఎ స్ట్రాంగ్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ స్ట్రాంగ్ బాండ్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో స్పై బాండ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కోవలెంట్ బాండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో స్ట్రాంగర్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వీక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వీకర్ దాన్ సిగ్మా బాండ్ సిగ్మా బాండ్ తో కంపేర్ చేస్తే మాత్రం వీక్ బాండ్ ఓకే సో దీన్ని ఎలా ఐడెంటిఫై చేస్తున్నట్టే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఓ ట్రిపుల్ ఓ డబుల్ బాండ్ ఓ ఉంది సో దీంట్లో యాక్చువల్గా టూ బాండ్ ఎనర్జీస్ ఆర్ డిఫరెన్స్ ఒక బాండ్ ఎనర్జీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సో టూ కోవైన్ బాండ్స్ ఫామ్ అయినాయి అంటే సో ఫస్ట్ బాండ్ బ్రేక్ చేయడానికి సెకండ్ బాండ్ బ్రేక్ చేయడానికి ఇట్ రిక్వైర్ సేమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ బట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ లైక్ దట్ బోత్ బాండ్స్ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ బాండ్ ఎనర్జీస్ ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్ ఫామ్ అయిన బాండ్ కట్టే సెకండ్ ఫామ్ అయిన బాండ్ వీక్ ఉంటుంది ఇట్ మీన్స్ జనరల్ గా ఫస్ట్ ఫామ్ అయిన ఏ బాండ్ ఫామ్ అయితే స్ట్రాంగ్ బాండ్ అయితే ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఇఫ్ ద స్ట్రాంగ్ బాండ్ ఈస్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ దానికంటే కొద్దిగా వీక్ బాండ్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది అంటే ఈ టూ ఐటమ్స్ మధ్యలో బాండ్ ఫా కోవలెంట్ బాండ్ ఫామ్ అవుతే వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఛాయిస్ సిగ్బా బాండ్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఛాయిస్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ వాన్స్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ నీడ్ ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ అనదర్ బాండ్ జస్ట్ లైక్ డబుల్ బాండ్ ఫామ్ చేయాలి ట్రిపుల్ బాండ్ ఫామ్ చేయాలి సో ఫస్ట్ బాండ్ సింగిల్ బాండ్ అంటే ఓన్లీ సిగ్మా బాండ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ ప్రా వన్ వన్ పాసిబిలిటీ సో నెక్స్ట్ డబుల్ బాండ్ ట్రిపుల్ బాండ్ ఫామ్ చేయాలంటే నథింగ్ బట్ సైడ్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ఎందుకంటే స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ తో మనకి సింగిల్ బాండ్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ఒకటే ఛాయిస్ ఉంటుంది ఓకే సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ పిఎక్స్ పిఎక్స్ స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాప్ అయ్యాయి సో పివై పివై దాన్ని పర్ఫెక్ట్ ఇచ్చేది కూడా ఉంటాయి సో మళ్ళీ ఇది స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ వచ్చి ఛాయిస్ ఉంటుందా ఇట్ ఇస్ నో పాసిబిలిటీ మీన్స్ స్ట్రైట్ టూ ఐటమ్స్ టూ ఆటమిక్ ఆర్బిటాల్స్ లో స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ టైమ్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ ఓకే సో కాబట్టి ఇట్ ఈస్ ద సిగ్మా బాండ్ ఈస్ స్ట్రాంగర్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ వీకర్ వన్ కంపేర్ టు సిగ్మా బాండ్ సో నెక్స్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బిట్వీన్ టూ ఐటమ్స్ బిట్వీన్ టూ ఐటమ్స్ వీ నో దట్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సిగ్మా బాండ్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ ఫామ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సిగ్మా ఫామ్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది అదే అండ్ వన్ సిగ్మా అయితే ఎందుకంటే స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ పాసిబిలిటీ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ వన్ స్ట్రైట్ వైజ్ ఓవర్లాపింగ్ పాసిబిలిటీ కాబట్టి దీని ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సిగ్మా బాండ్ But uh, there is a two possibilities present between the two atoms. For example, if you take nitrogen, the first bond is sigma bond. And we know that it is having the three bonds, other two bonds, pi bonds. Means, uh, in any two atoms, any two atoms, there is a... Uh, in any two atom there is only possibility of one sigma bond so adikapunna remaining one bond so that is the one that is the okay means uh, between two atoms only one sigma bond is possible so next uh, between two atom there is a possibility of two pi bonds if put two by for example in o double bond o one sigma bond one pi bond or in uh, n triple bond there is a uh, one sigma bond and two pi bonds are possible okay next uh, we have some more differences Okay, see, uh, some more difference between sigma and pi bond. So, there is a rotation is possible. Okay, 
so there is a possibility of a rotation rotation is possible of atom for atoms with the help of a sigma bond for example there is a formation of sigma bond between a two carbon atoms in ethane so ethane formula is ethane formula is c2h6 c2h6 is like this ch3 bond ch3 okay so now between the two carbon atoms which bond is present only one sigma bond is present okay only one sigma bond is present uh, with the help of uh, this sigma bond because sigma bond had only one is straight wise overlapping would be uh, overlapping is par parallel to the internuclear axis ఇప్పుడు ఒక కార్బన్ అట్లే స్టేబుల్ గా ఉంచి ఇంకో కార్బన్ ఏం చేయొచ్చు అంటే రొటేట్ చేయొచ్చు అంటే సిగ్మా బాండ్ అలోస్ ద రొటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆటమ్స్ ఆటమ్స్ కెన్ బి రొటేట్ ఆటమ్స్ కెన్ బి రొటేట్ త్రూ సిగ్మా బాండ్ అంటే సిగ్మా బాండ్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇది ఒక సిహెచ్ త్రీ గ్రూప్ ఇది ఈజ్ సి సిహెచ్ త్రీ గ్రూప్ సిహెచ్ త్రీ గ్రూప్ ఈ టూ సిహెచ్ త్రీ గ్రూప్స్ they we can rotate the this group and this group with the help of uh, this sigma bond okay and the sigma bond rotation is stop chair because only one is there but so adi dan kunna two sides na groups ni rotation ki allow chestun but uh, whereas in the pi bond so pi bond ki i will take the example of ethene okay so ethene so what is the ethene formula means uh, c2h4 c2h4 it la untadu okay Okay. in carbon there is a one sigma bond is one pi bond so sigma bond and straight wise overlapping but it allows the rotation uh, for example so it uh, the overlapping i can be at the x ikkada pi bond ga but side wise overlapping kuda hai so side wise overlap i i pin and the sides are locked it is sides could lock ayipothe ga but it free ga move avadani chance led only sigma bond sigma bond okate unte that allows the rotation it is side wise overlapping kabatti there is no possibility of rotation just one sigma bond undi simple ga rotate avutadi so deeniki sigma bond ki side nunchi kuda inkoka overlap ochindi ante inko next bond pi bond kada so eppudaina second bond pi bond directly the first bond pi bond is not possible the always the first bond is sigma bond so a second bond form avina appudu pi bond side wise avutadi kabatti so then there is a the rotation is not possible means uh, in sigma bond uh, sigma bond allows the rotation sigma bond allows the rotation whereas pi bond does not pi bond does not allows the rotation of the bond okay it's a very important point so next uh, the next important one sigma bond is formed between uh, any atomic orbitals for example so s s ki sigma bond form hoti pp ki sigma bond form avutadi so sp ki sigma bond form avutadi mean there is no restriction so it forms between some orbitals it does not form some orbitals not like that all orbitals all atomic orbitals and hybrid orbitals next manaki uh, after few classes we will get a hybridization topic hybridization means you two connect avutadi so sp sp2 a new orbitals are there they known as hybrid means uh, sigma bond ke any atomic orbital sigma bond is preferred by sigma bond is preferred by any or any orbitals so atomic orbitals ka avachu s ka avachu p ka avachu d ka avachu f ka avachu even a uh, hybrid orbitals ka avachu okay all orbitals not only atomic orbitals all atomic all atomic orbitals and hybrid orbitals 
all atomic orbitals atomic orbitals and singles in the spdf avi okay hybrid ante 2 to 2 or 3 combined with a hybrid ante so all type of orbitals uh, can form sigma bond so the pi bond the pi bond has some restrictions so as with the pi bond sk sk there is no ss pi bond because s or angle manaki spherical shape so for spherical shape kabatti so straight wise overlapping unde din mali side wise overlap ay choice led okay there is no possibility for side wise overlapping nik p orbital ayithe nemo ila dumbbell shape lo untadi kabatti there is a possibility of side wise overlapping ila side wise overlapping straight wise overlapping possible avutadi but uh, for s orbital there is no formation of pi bond s or ss ki manaki only sigma bond form avutadi ante s orbital unte there is no formation of pi bond and pi ss is not possible pi sp also not possible tab manake endante pi pp possible pi dd possible okay pi pd also possible but uh, hybrid hybrid unta sp sp2 la there is some hybrid orbitals are there hybrid orbital does not involve in pi bond formation so uh, hybrid orbitals and they always prefer only sigma bond they not at all form pi bond that's why there is no possibility so due to the their shapes okay when sigma bond form this to my sigma bonds all orbitals form this thing but uh, some orbitals just like s orbital okay like the uh, hybrid orbitals are not forming the pi bonds it is only due to the shape of that orbitals okay mottam sigma bond form avadam pi bond form avadam shapes pe depend avutadi sigma bond ante formation of first bond so two atoms madhyalo first to form ayye bond sigma bond so kabatti there is no uh, compromising that all atomic orbitals and hybrid orbitals are ready for sigma bond formation so after formation of the sigma bond between the two atoms there is a possibility for the formation of pi bond and it is having sideways overlapping so sideways overlapping ke it shape must be cooperate the shape cooperate chal the spherical shape does not cooperate for sideways overlapping so hybrid orbital shape is also like this one hybrid orbital along with the so it is the hybrid orbitals so then could a e part only straight wise overlap untadi kabatti kani side wise overlapping is not possible so therefore uh, pi sigma bond is formed by all our orbitals atomic and hybrid orbitals but here pi bond is not formed by some orbitals they are s orbitals s orbitals so p ready now but s is not able to form pi bonds so s orbital pi bond form so next uh, this hybrid orbital do not form pi bonds due to their difference in their shapes okay next uh, okay sigma bond is a an independent bond okay sigma bond is independent it is an independent bond independent bond means uh, so uh, it is the first bond it is the first bond between two atoms okay two atoms are the bond form of all the so first sigma bond is formed okay so next to form is pi bond so what is the pi bond it is independent so it is depend on on sigma bond but if pi bond form of all the for example first uh, oxygen o2 lo but like one sigma bond one pi bond so first sigma form out of it then only there is a formation of pi bond the first preference for sigma bond okay then only there is a possibility of pi bond and a pi bond is formed pi bond is formed only after only after the formation of sigma bond so sigma bond form in tarvata ne pi bond form ay chance untadi okay so this is a so these are the main differences between a sigma and pi bonds
So next uh, the important one, we know that sigma bond uh, is uh, due to the end on end overlapping. So we could have bond electron sector on table. So we could electron so type. Okay. So the electrons are exactly present on the internuclear axis. Internucleus axis pine electrons. Are they pi bond formation low? For example, the internal pi bond check. So pi bond is the play of the so then the after the formation of sigma bond only, then the formation of pi bond. So it's sideways overlap. Sideways overlap. So it can have bonded electrons. So what is internuclear axis? This is the internuclear axis. What is the bonded electrons? Bonded electrons EV. So sigma bond bound electrons are exactly present on the internuclear axis. Means uh, they are present uh, along the axis. That is this pi bonded electrons are on the internuclear axis ke perpendicular. Okay. They are perpendicular to the internuclear axis and the pi bonded electrons are perpendicular to the internuclear axis whereas sigma bonded electrons are present along the internuclear axis nothing but axis of the orbitals okay these are the main differences between a sigma bond and pi bond okay so now I give the point wise, okay. Okay, so now you write the differences. You write the differences between a, a sigma bond and pi bond neatly, okay. Just take the notes. Okay, now we write some more points. Okay, take uh, some more points.
so here there is uh, some more points uh, uh, that is a comparison of sigma and pi bonds so that already we saw the sigma bonded electrons are treated as localized it means they are exactly present between the uh, two atoms two atoms that is in the straight wise that's why they treated as localized whereas the pi electron treated as mobile electrons so why they are treated as mobile electrons means uh, here mobile means uh, the moving or then we use the mobile phones means moving okay moving is not moving is possible for pi electrons for example uh, if you take uh, benzene okay if you take the benzene there are alternate double bonds are present there is alternate double bonds are present and then there is also moving of uh, this pi bond can be shifted to this uh, next place next it is shifted to this place it can be shifted to this place means are so border law on the sigma bonds and that they, they are fixed okay they are not movable that's why they treated as localized electrons whereas pi bonded electrons are treated as delocalized delocalized nothing but mobile electrons mobile electrons means a chance for moving okay nothing but delocalized electrons next uh, sigma bond is independent so first are they form of the so after the formation of sigma bond only there is a pi bond formation takes place next important one sigma bonds are less reactive as they are strong so they are strong but it don't lo a bond break chesi bond lo involve avvalante it takes much energy okay next they are highly reactive as they are weak okay generally uh, so highly reactive or uh, they are weak but they easily with the help of some energy only they becomes breakdown so after breakdown they participate in chemical reactions means the chemical reactivity is uh, for pi bond compounds and uh, pi bond on the compounds uh, easily reacts when compared to the compounds which are having only sigma bonds okay for, for example Uh, C, so a compound uh, C is sigma bond is for example this ethane. Okay, so here our sigma bond only. So all our sigma bonds. So it is not an easy for bond formation. For example, in the form of ethene. So ethene low carbon is having double bond. This is more reactive when compared to this. and also there is a one compound is there in which uh, carbon is having triple bond and uh, due to the presence of pi bonds same of that uh, so actually again uh, here sigma bond only pi bond only so only sigma bond unta uh, they are uh, very less reactive so again sigma bond pi bond unta uh, automatically pi bond break aipothe so that uh, the next uh, sigma bond ki vachestadi means uh, the molecule becomes unstable means uh, due to the presence of uh, pi bonds it decreases the stability of molecules okay due to the presence of pi bonds that makes the molecule unstable unstable means they involve in reactions easily that is treated as a they are weak okay uh next uh, the shape of molecules is determined by sigma bonds and uh, the pi bonds have so pi bonds has pi bonds has no effect uh, on shape of molecules okay so first of all is sigma bond ka but the shape is depends only on the sigma bond direction sigma bond form a direction based is kone first bond form hote so first bond is the fixed bond so like uh, second form a pi bond is also in the direction of sigma bond okay so okay for example uh, see for example methane formation ch4 so la four bond form and so its shape is tetrahedral shape Okay, four bonds form out of e direction of form a like a but that is treated as tetrahedral shape. Okay. So for example, ethene molecule is good now. Okay, ethene.
an ethyl molecule C2H4 it is like this the two carbons middle of first form and the sigma bond so its shape is like this okay so i should like it it look a triangular plane or it look a triangular plane or two triangular plane or combined i inter so if already structure ochesi tarvata next step lo nikem form aitadi pi bond form avuthu but pi bond ekkad form avali that is formed along the sigma bond so sigma bond form in the place lo ne pi bond form avuthu atla pi bond ayithe kotta place lo form avuthe then a shape no difference is a capacity unta but pi bond is formed between the atoms which are bonded with sigma bond so malli sigma bond form in a place vaati madhyalone pi bond form aitadi kabatti mari ikkada pi bond form aithe ikkade form avadu okay there is a new bond formed a new bond form in a bond ekkada untundi adhe place lo untundi kabatti kane separate place lo bonds ochinai ankonde pi bonds then there is a possibility of uh, uh, changing its shape okay oka kotta place lo form ayithe shape lo change chese capacity untadi so but uh, pi bond eppudu eppudu form avutadi it is only formed after the formation of sigma bond the sigma bond form ayina atoms majjulona malli form avutadi kabatti it does not affect the shape of the molecule okay so these are the main uh, differences between uh, sigma bond and pi bond so very important one okay so write them